Synthetic materials has been stolen. Lovely. We have our first settlement on Scotland as well. That's actually really, really handy. You know, completing these city-state quests is actually quite addictive. I've got all of these sanitations to go. I've gotten two neighborhoods being built now. That's wonderful. But natural history, opera and ballet. Well, natural history is an archeological museum. So I'll just ping one of those in. Lovely. And I think opera and ballet is just an art museum, right? So yeah, there you go. That's three city-states just with extra envoys. Did any of them help? No. Probably not, but it's good fun. I'm just I'm just collecting them all like Pokemon. It, the problem is though, is it keeps asking for a formed church. It's like I don't have a religion. Just stop asking me. If I actually if I if I just research that, they'll stop asking for it. Oh, Renal, you could be seductive, eh? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> a seductive agent. It's always my favourite. Don't mind me if I just buy a line inventory in my new little Scottish city. I'm gonna go steal this settler. Oh, and Garzagamu. That's actually a really handy city-state. Have I never found that before? If I find Auckland up here, I'm gonna be so excited. Calais will be so excited in particular. Oh, you gotta feel for Vicky. Look, the city's flooded. Oh, I was just thinking they were building a dam there, but no, I think they, they might have just got away with that. I would love to get involved in the Nobel Prize in physics. That sounds amazing. And we know that ranged has gone through before, so I'm just gonna vote for that. But espionage pact. <laughs> okay. Spies executing the chosen operation function two levels higher. Now, I think that the AI normally votes on A. They like to do that rather than stopping spies entirely. And I would love it if I could steal great works. That would be relatively entertaining. So I'll put in, I don't know, 15 votes on that one, five votes on the other. Actually, no, I'll take one vote off and I can do 14 and seven. And I'll vote a few times on Nobel Prize and Physics. You know what, I don't need to do that. I just vote once. I'll save the extra strength for myself. Huzzah, great work heist, two levels higher. And ranged as well, huzzah. Speaking of, I just stole the Canterbury Tales <laughs> and some gold. So all of these are stolen so far. We've got a lot of works of writing and I need to actually put some more spaces in because I need my tourism to keep growing if I'm going to get this culture victory. I do have quite a few cities, to be fair, that actually have the ability to get Theatre Square still. So there, there are options. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Four plus four. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, please. I also just got flight, by the way. So that's uh, more tourism on all of my chateau. Oh, lovely. I'm also going to beeline for seaports. I have so many harbours. It's absolutely worth it for me to get that. I've ever told you how much I love the Owls of Minerva. Ah, oh, Zanzibar's back on side, everyone. Yay! Oh, no one's met the Vatican yet. Interesting. So I'm going to actually just steal that city-state and give myself a load of visibility. Oh, yeah. Most of Scotland done. No Auckland yet. You know what? I've had a really, really good run of luck with having Auckland in my games recently. So it's only right that we have a couple, at least, where Auckland isn't appearing. But every time you don't get Auckland in a game with so much, like, you know, naval mass, you do get a little bit disappointed. It's like, oh, look at that, by the way. I'm starting to get tourists. Yay! Very exciting. First neighborhood, first of two that I'm building now, which is exciting. There we go, sanitation boosted. So that is Bologna that's been boosted. Nalanda, Woolen, Cahokia, and Mitla. All in one go. Look at that. That's lovely. Venetian Arsenal. I built this because I could do it off the coast and it's a wonder, so I built it in my capital. Plus, if I do want to make an invasion into Venetian lands and the sort of South England, then now I can build boats twice as quickly. It's a wonderful wonder. I love it. It's great. Up to 151 tourism now. And I can finally get a water park going as well. That's actually really, really handy. Some more amenities in my capital is always welcome. A new city-state. Oh, I just got the boost for plastics. That's good. But that is a CAD, I believe. Again, not Auckland. I'm looking for Auckland. We're stealing steel. I've, I've now got, I think, two or three spies all doing tech boosts. Uh, two of them with a third on the way. We, we're doing good. I've also got great work heists as well. This is weirdly effective, this game. <laughs> it's, uh, it's speeding along nicely. There's electricity as well, so we've now got seaports. But if I actually have a look and see where we are in terms of the AI, 47 techs versus 39. So we're not in the lead on tech, but we are very much mid-pack. I've now taken over the culture lead, so we're slowly doing that. Nobody's getting religion, but Byzantium, as they often do, are getting a, well, they're sort of furthest up. And score-wise, we're now up to third. So our late game settling is having a large amount. I've got this Scottish city that's now just pumping settlers out. 
started. I've got them arriving absolutely everywhere. Next turn, we're going to get a bunch. I've got coal over here. Look at this extra coal. I found some. Oh, great work heist. It failed. Never mind. Well, we'll send him back. If the spy doesn't die, I, that's always a good thing, really. Right, more Scottish cities. I've got one in Bordeaux. I've got two on this little island of Lyon and a third on this tiny little island of Avignon. Now, there's basically the reason I'm doing this is for either strategics or luxuries. Both of them work well and both of them I can sell in some degree or another. I've never told you how much I love the letter. Oh, it's such a good city state. Just being able to get walls in all the time. So good. Buenos Aires, there may still be hope. There may still be hope for city states that we haven't met yet. It's unlikely, but I do hope every day. Oh, an ironclad from that one. Nice. One more spy. What promotions have you got? Counter spy, counter spying, disrupt rocketry. Ugh, rubbish. All rubbish. I'll get surveillance just because I can, but these spies just don't have the fun promotions anymore. Not like Yvette and her great work heist. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so much fun. I'll see if this works. I think Greece still by far has the most great works. Now, we've already got somebody in Athens, but I'm assuming Sparta is another place to steal from. Yes, it is. Okay, well, off to Sparta you go. Yay! I'm also finally starting to finish a lot of gilded vaults as well. So my doubling up of trade routes. I've got one. I've just finished a second. I've got three, four in, in the space of about three turns. So my trade routes are multiplying heavily. These are all being multiplied by uh, the ability that I've got to send them to city-states. I'm getting a lot of envoys now, like a huge amount of envoys, and it's very satisfying. Tech boost computers. How many boosts have I stolen now? Quite a few. I mean, that was right up into the atomic age. Got a lot more information here attacks to steal from, but this is so far, it's going well. Look at this seaport. 14 gold, 2 gold to all coast tiles in the city. So Cali's going to go from 123 gold per turn, and I'll just let that go to 157. That was worth 30 gold per turn. Big deal for me. That's lovely. And it also gives me a little bit more housing, which this city desperately needed. In fact, I'm going to actually pick up a sewer there so that it can continue to grow. It needs to be super plump. That's, that's the main thing we're going for here. Well, it looks like Taruga and Venice might just about to be killed. That's two of my city-states that are going to be lost. That's not fair. Don't kill my city-states. Oh, Venice is actually really handy for me. It's giving me a lot of gold per turn. And Hattusa, actually, I don't really know anything. But no, it's Taruga, sorry. Yeah, 5% extra science. Oh, my goodness. It's just, oh, so frustrating. Stop it. Stop taking my city-states from me. We've acquired steel now. I keep getting lovely boosts to science and culture and gold and faith every time that I get these spy projects finished. And we've got six spies now firing off. I have a seventh being built in my capital as we speak right now. I keep sending all my trade routes to city-states, but I'm not allied with just yet. That's all good. You see, look like Bologna is one and Zanzibar. I think I might be able to get on. Oh, no, not quite on side. And Gazagamu is another option. So yeah, we're really, really getting some huge, huge trade benefits now. This is awesome. Yep, there goes Venice as well. I think actually Taruga maybe... Yeah, it's going to be lost. Loyalty-wise, the Dido, that's not going to be good for them at all. So what I'm going to do is actually... Oh, just look at all these spies. They're all doing good things. I'm going to build a little bit of an invasion force. And we're going to go liberate it. And uh, therefore, I should be able to get it back on side really quickly. Come on, Mittler. Get back. Get back into the game. I need you on side. But we've unlocked for myself now Guard Imperial, I think. They are the strongest units that I could send over that would stand a chance of doing this well. So I might just have a look at building those. I don't know if I've got encampments really anywhere. So there's no point building it anywhere apart from my capital. So we'll do that. And I know it's not going to be on the right continent. It's going to be on England rather than France, but they do have 70 strength. So they are more powerful than anything else I'm going to be able to send in their direction. And therefore, that's what I'm going to do. Plus, I get the era score for building it. So that's cool as well. Otherwise, we're now starting to build theatre squares. Now that I've got the trade routes sorted and we're at capacity on that, it's all about theatre squares. I need as many spaces as I can to get my tourism as high as possible. How are we doing on this? Yeah, I'm still leading. Pericles and um, so it's, it's basically Greece and Congo, as usual, are going to be the two people that we've got to focus most on. Zanzibar is now on side and Gazagamu is now on side. Akkad is now on side. And I mean, this is 
I love when you can just do this, just drop one onto so many city states and, and Taver Aver 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 now is now on side. That's four of them additionally. Wa bam. Oh yeah. Economic Union is such a good card. It's amazing. And I'm gonna get rid of Diplomatic League finally for Raj. That's an awesome card when you've got 16 city state uh you know plebs <laughs> people people that you are controlling that's probably not the technical term for it pleb they follow my every command and they love it you know that's that's the important thing here i really should start getting some sewers actually thinking about it calais needs to grow that's awesome and so does this oh i love sewers they really do help you to just you know the, the cities that have housing problems give them a little little tap in the right direction make sure they continue growing they're goldilocks you say Nice. Oh, I've actually got another spy capacity. We are really running through these spies at the moment. Let's just get this last one. How much does a spy cost? 750 production. Goodness me. Building a spy is like way more expensive than building some of the wonders in the game at the moment. That's mad. Oh, fabricate scandal. Been looking for a spy to do that for some time because I want Geneva back on side. And Dido is being a real pain there. <laughs> Radio, Master Spy, nice, and I think I need one more sewer. I've got two cities apparently that don't have enough housing. Sometimes finding them can be a little bit tricky, but it's normally the cities I've just, just been making. So there we go, there's suffrage. Oh, I'm looking forward to democracy so much. And no, I'm not putting the city state emergency for Tariga through. I want that to just fall away by itself ideally so that I can liberate it. That's the ideal here. Oh my goodness, I've stolen all the tech I can get from Carthage. That's crazy. That's mad. Hmm, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? I guess I go and find other great works of art. Like, the, the, I mean, the Dutch. Have you got any? One. Not really worth going after one, I'll be honest. I need you to have a bunch. Everyone has like one. Apart from Byzantium. Byzantium do have a few. Where do Byzantium keep their artwork? I bet it's in Constantinople. Yeah, totally is. Okay, cool. Constantinople, we go. And here we go. Democracy has the most diplomatic slots out of any government, apart from the tier four governments. So that's really what we've been looking forward to getting here. Uh, I'm not really building wonders anymore. I don't know why I still had that card in. Military research is diving me quite nicely on science. I'll keep that one up. New Deal is one of my favorite cards in the game, as is liberalism. So we're gonna get low Loads of immunities now combined with Rep Republican legacy. We should get plus two, plus three, plus four in all cities with three districts. Makes a big difference that, an absolutely huge difference. Vizelbanken, Colonial Taxes, Raj, these are all really good cards, but I do want Monarchic Legacy back in because the extra housing I was getting from the walls makes a huge difference on my big cities. That's plus three in every city. So I'm gonna have to get rid of Raj for now, which is a, oh, it's a, it feels like a shame. Feels like a shame to do that. Colonial Taxes, Vizelbanken. I'm gonna have to get rid of Vizelbanken. It's probably the smallest benefit out of everything. Saying that, it's, it's just painful. No, I'm gonna have to keep Vizelbanken in. I'd rather have that Republican Legacy. Oh, Oh, choices. Late game choices, eh? They make everything a little bit more interesting. We could go for Trade Confederation, though. That's 17 science and culture, so yeah, we should be laughing. But as you can see, Taruga has fallen. So my Guard Imperial is now making its way over. If we can get the final kill and liberate it, I'm going to be very, very happy. Oh, is Venetia going to take the city back? This is the question. They have two Kurosawa cores. They're quite tough. Nope, they're going to just wander off. That's good. We don't mind them wandering off. I think England will be attacking this city to an extent. Uh, yeah, look, there we go. There were some units over there. And 42 strength now. Oh, exciting. And again, another piece of artwork stolen. I need more theatre squares. Goodness me, I actually don't have any space now. Yeah, in fact, actually, look, no great work to steal anymore. Um, I don't know if that's true, or I don't know if it's just because I can't put it. Yeah, look, Fairgirl Goldilocks is still there. I just don't have any space for it anymore. Frustratingly, now I do. There is the amphitheater. So, yep, that, if I'd been just a couple of turns after, that would have been fine. Oh, no, someone hit me with a spy. The irony. The irony of the spying on me. I mean, I would never, ever do that. Oh, look, I stole something right then. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's just fix that afterwards. We That's going to be our eighth spy. That's the crazy thing. Cold War, I think, was the last spy? Does that put us at a maximum of nine? Cold War, ideology, nationalism. I think we've got all of the others, actually. Yeah, that's the last one. Fine. Okay, well, we've got to unlock that as quick as possible. I want all the spies all the time. Sounds like some sort of terrible radio station, doesn't it? All the spies all the time. 
just upgraded my card to market economy. Look at that, 21 gold, 34 science, 34 culture. These uh, trades I'm doing, these little trade routes, oh, they're stacking nicely. They are looking swell. I believe this has fallen perfectly for me. Look at this. The city-state has lost all its health. It's lost all of its resistance. I can just walk in, take the city, liberate it back to being a city-state, and take six envoys there with no one else with anything. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That could not have gone better for me, that. I'm still praying in Renaissance walls on every new city that I find, which is awesome. It's just like, here's a city, Renaissance walls, buy a new settler. I love Hicksonctriconas. It's brilliant. We've got eight turns, by the way, though, to pick up one and then it's so about 14 era score we need it should be fine i think i should do this fairly easily but it is worth just keeping an eye on in fact actually i'm just going to get professional sports down quickly because i should be able to rush this through pretty quickly in fact actually marseille can you just yeah rush the entertainment complex through for me i'll put the water park in this city but if i just pop that down that boosts professional sports good and then we can get ourselves a stadium and an aquatic center and that'll be a huge era score dump and as we know large era score dumps are much more satisfying than small ones it's just a fact for you right there a three lighthouse and shipyard yay that's pretty helpful brilliant i have four spies stealing great works of art right now four of them oh our culture will start to spiral quickly now we're up to 35 tourists it's happening fabricate scandal yes so this takes 12 turns which is a little bit too much in my eyes but what are you gonna do my last spy what are you going to do counter spies of two levels more experienced well go on then i'll be seductive in my own capital that's probably a good place to be Two boosts, lovely. That's really nice. Spy mission aborted. I think I just might have stolen more great work. No, oh, no, they just moved their... Oh, I think they moved it out of this city. They're like, hmm, things keep getting stolen from Athens. Maybe we should move our works. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fair play. You've actually learnt for the first time in a long time, right? I'll move to Corinth then. Do you know what? I'm not going to counter spy. I refuse. I'm going to go and steal more stuff from Greece because honestly, it's more fun. First stadium built. Bam! Three era score for me. How many turns have I got now? Five turns to do 11 era score. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be trickier than I thought, but we'll keep at it. I think we should have some possibilities here. Here is an aquatic center. There we go. That is another three era score. How many turns have we got now? Four turns. Okay, I think I know what I could do here, but I'm going to need a little bit of oil to do it. Luckily, I know somebody with oil. So what Marseille is going to do is get itself an aerodrome. And to do that, I need a piece of flat land, which looking at it might be trickier than I expected. What's this one? This is plains with woods on. So that actually could be flat land that I need. If there's an archaeologist that's possible then, which it probably isn't at the moment. Okay, maybe that's not as good as I thought. Three turns. Can this city get the aerodrome through turns? Okay, three turns. Oh, I might have left this a little squeaky. Two turns in Calais. You know what, it's a bit painful, but I'm going to have to do this. Let's get that in two turns and we'll get a plane into the sky. That should be wonderful for me. And let's get the aquatic centre done as well. And Calais should now be super happy. Stealing satellites now. We're getting huge boosts, continual brilliant boosts. It's very handy. And Bologna, come on, get over. There we go. Perfect, we just got ourselves two more era score from doing that. That's great. How many turns have we got? Two turns left. Nice. We've gone over 200 tourism, by the way, so that's looking good. There's Sprawling Empire, so we've now got three more era score to make. I like the fact that we have absolutely right at the top a French colony in the top of Scotland. The Pingala just got killed. Oh, you know what? Pingala's now dead, but I deserved that because I was like, you know what I'm going to do with my spy? I'm going to send them abroad. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You know what, actually, now I say that, we're stealing great works everywhere, so I'm kind of glad we did what we did. National History Museum. Yes, I like the sound of that. That's awesome. More great works. More great works all the time. And we're almost at social media. That's going to be a huge bonus for me. In fact, actually, I'm just thinking about it. I've also now got cryptography, which is spy level increased by one for offensive operations. That's an amazing one. And containment which means the envoys count as two if I have a different government to people, which I kind of mostly do. Yeah, this will bank I'm going to have to get rid of, and gunboat diplomacy will come in 
Ooh, instead, I mean, Colonial Tax is giving me 400 gold per turn, so we're going to have to do it instead of Raj. I'm focusing on Spies here. I really want my Spies to be the best they can be. Actually, saying that, look, there we go, Seaside Resort. I knew there was something we could do. Excellent. Golden Age guaranteed. The world enters the modern era, and there's a lot of additional city-state quests for us to do now, so we'll have to have a take a peek at this quickly, but first of all, we pick and of course it's Atomic Era where all the fun ones are. Never mind, let's go reform the coinage this time, get ourselves more gold. We've got 19 trade routes, we might as well make use of them now. Let's have a look at the city-state quests. Eureka for nuclear fission, interesting. Inspiration for space race and cultural heritage. I think that's theming and having a spaceport. Actually, I can probably get a spaceport a bit quicker than anything else. Building an aerodrome, I've just done that. Water park, I've just done that as well. Ugh, everyone's just like, do the thing that you've already done. No. Ah, uh, there's a couple of send trade routes as well, so that'll be pretty cool. Well, and I won the Nobel Prize in Physics, by the way, so I got a few tech boosts from that. What did I get? Advanced AI and advanced flight. <laughs> nice. Oh, goodness me. Our tech boosts are pretty crazy. I'm now stealing great works from the Congo as well. What are my spies doing? Stealing, stealing, stealing. And then the others are in transit at the moment. Just really, this city is getting 440 gold per turn. That's absolutely insane. Last time patronage went through, it was B on Great Admiral. So, you know, we'll vote B on Great Admiral again. Heritage organization. No one's always a little bit funny about this one, but I'm going to say writing should get double tourism. I'll vote for myself for diplomacy points because I can. And you can see Nobel Peace Prize, Sweden wishes to acknowledge. It's because the mod I've got on, the Civilizations Extended mod. So I don't need to put anything more than one point on Nobel Peace Prize, I believe. But I do kind of want to throw a couple of other votes at the others. So let's vote upwards on writing. So I'm not entirely confident about that one. And I'll put six votes on each of those. Okay, let's see how that goes, eh? Let's see how that goes. What are we going to do? So people decided to go no on Great Artist this time. Interesting. Who voted the most on Great Artist? It was Australia, Pericles, Dido. Interesting. So I went for actually 10 on Writer, 5 on Writer. So that's 15 points. And then I went Admiral. Nobody went Admiral this time. People were just not fussed about Admirals. Fine. Well, there you go. Double tourism for writing, though. And I got some diplomacy points as well. Awesome. All helps with the tourism victory though. Look at that, 42. We're getting there slowly. I just bought a ranger. There's a cavalry and I kind of want to get a curassar as well if I can help it. Needs more iron. Why have I never got any iron? What's going on here? I'll do it. I'll just buy too much because why not at this point? Curassar. Those were all city-state quests. Uh, bombard, muskets, both of those are as well. Can I buy any of those? No, I've gone for inventory, so I can't get muskets anymore. Could go for bombards if I had nitre. So I guess we'll kind of just do that one as again. Lovely, Jerusalem's back on side. Ah, they really, really wanted that. Aircraft carrier destroyer. Okay, both of those are fairly easy to do in comparison. Ah, frustratingly, I now have lost the ability to steal great works very effectively. So I'm going to have to spend a few turns gaining sources, but that's okay. I just picked up conservation and... And that means I'm now 384 tourism because I've got so many Renaissance walls everywhere. It's a very good pickup for me. Bologna. No, no, no. Come on, Bologna. Don't do that. Get back on side. I need you. I need you on side. Same with you, Cabal. Everyone wants to be happy and friendly with Ursa. I need you. Let's go space race. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to just buy a spaceport quickly, but I'm not going to be able to get there in time. So instead, we'll go cultural heritage. And then I'll see if I can just rush space race through. No ability to get a themed building though, because I haven't stolen any artwork yet, which is a bit frustrating. Never mind. Oh yeah, I forgot I, I sent a spy to sabotage production because there was literally nothing else to do. Yeah, that's on me. That's on me. Sorry about that. Oh, sanctuary. I forgot about this. Oh, oh the tiles. The tiles are so good. Oh, two great work heists failed, but neither was caught. That's a little unfortunate. Great merchant absorbed city-state into empire. I mean, I could take Preslav, I guess. Uh, entertainment complex there. I mean, Preslav is, I, I kind of like city-states. That's my problem. You know, I'm, I'm not going to bother, but yeah, weird. Oh, National History Museum. Cool. There we go. We've got spaces for all kinds of stuff now. I'm going to give Pingala back into Calais and we'll give you the curator. So now that you can 
You can give me all of the additional tourism that I've been missing out on up till this point. Okay, Quartermaster, I'm going to have to bring you back. I really would like, uh, yeah, if Spires in Home Territory, all Spires operate at one level. I haven't got a Quartermaster at the moment, and it makes such a difference. Got my ninth uh, Spy being built, though. Don't forget, I haven't forgotten. It's all good. Is Fabricate Scandal going to work? Please do. I really love these projects. They're very good. Very, very good. It looks like it might have worked, actually. Um, let's have a quick look. Success. Fabricating scandal, good. Okay, actually, that means that Dido's influence has gone down by about six envoys. Ho, 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 that's effective. I like that. I can now put spaceports down. Let's get computers for the tourism boost. We are getting there slowly. Oh, now it says that it's a failure. Huh? What? That's... That's weird. It, so, so look, there we go. This is, this is really weird. Failure, but the announcement says it's success and it has actually given me the envoys and it's taken them away. I, yeah, hmm, weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening there, but you'll just have to, just have to assume that it means, it's doing what it needs to do, but the announcement's wrong? I don't know. Anyway, it killed my spy anyway, so they're clearly dead now. That much is certain. The death. Weird. I built St. Basil's Cathedral in France because I was actually accumulating quite a few relics and the extra tourism from them would help a lot. This will kick me above 400 tourism now. Very good. Very good. We like to see it. We like to see these things a lot. And Bolshoi. Two randomly chosen three civics. I don't think I've left too many civics early game for me to pick up, so I'm hoping the two it gives me are fairly useful. Saying that, I was waiting on a couple of inspirations, so I think this may be ill-timed to say the least. Let's see what it's given me. Cultural heritage, totalitarianism, nuclear program. Okay, I mean, okay, it's not too bad, but still a weird one. Matthew Perry. I love Matthew Perry, not only because his contribution to Friends was excellent, but also because he gives envoys enough to make you suzerain of the city-state, and it also wipes the other ones. I mean, it's it's just so much fun. So I have to go and have a look and see which would be the best target, Hattusa. Can I get to Hattusa via the sea? No, I cannot. That is unfortunate. Who else would be a good one? Nalanda and Hunza. Hunza, I think, was accessible from sea from memory, but I could be wrong. Oh, it certainly is. Okay, well, Hunza. Hunza is where we're going. I think that's going to be a very good pickup for me. But I can now put all of my relics into St. Basil's Cathedral. I had a few of them, as I mentioned before. Lovely. Do you reckon the world ever sort of thinks about wh why are all of our writing, great works of writing, why are they all di disappearing and every single one ends up in France? Like, what's what's up with that? What's what's going on? You'd think, you'd think it would be noted and commented on by now, wouldn't you? There's computers. 583 tourism per turn. Ooh, exciting. We've also got Space Race now, so unfortunately I'm going to have to take off my favourite card and put back on Veterancy. Veterancy is a really good card in everybody's defence. It's a wonderful card, so we'll put that back on for now. It does mean that I can also now buy, if I have the need to, some, where do we call it, sea walls. But I believe I may have loaded this map in today without flooding from the sea because it is easier on the computer and also sometimes you find on these bigger maps it can go a bit crazy. I, with this map we've already seen most of England disappear to the sea when I turned the settings up to full. I loved that. So I kind of like until I do that again I want to just sort of enjoy it. I'm passing on all writers still. Like don't worry I'm not taking any of them. We've got admirals, merchants and that's it. Anyway social media time. Woo! Still building spies everywhere though. 900 production for a spy. Oh, I have 10 slots for them though now. 10. Oh boy, that's a lot of spies. Might just rush towards Biosphere a little bit. I have the sounds of Biosphere. I kind of want to get some form of renewable energy as well. I'm really looking forward to beelining the projects that mean that I can freeze the world. And as soon as I freeze the world, we can just have a little bit of fun. But yeah, the tourism victory is coming along nicely now. Really looking forward to just sort of pushing that as far as we can. Think about getting a water park here. I think, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick one just right on that crabs because I think it'll stretch across to a lot of different cities. And Hansa. Woo! Another city state on side. I'm looking forward to getting collective activism. 5% culture for every city state I'm suzerain of. You just wait. Water park in this city's finished though, so there's the Ferris wheel, the aquarium, and if I do this properly, the aquatic centre. Way! That's six extra cities that should be forced into being ecstatic, whether they like it or not. Plus 11 now. That's a, that's a very happy city. 
A lot of citizens, all they wanted was to go for a swim. Ten envoys? Oh my lord, that's so many envoys. Why have I got ten envoys? I might have just been saving them up without realising, or when I've been building wonders maybe. I mean, I, I actually have no idea why I've got so many in one go there, but not going to complain at all. Have I still got containment up? I do. So, I can take a city-state like... Where was the one that was just not on side at all? Hattusa. And I can go one, two, three, four, five, like that, and hopefully ten. It's now mine. Perfect. Lahore, I can put three in, and again, the same thing will happen. And Nalanda, I can do the same thing, and again, look at that. We've got so many city-states on side now. Stole a bird. Just keep stealing. Keep stealing Claude. Claude is an absolute machine. <laughs> Most of the artwork I have in my nation is from Claude right now. Oh lord. Imagine if I was picking up my own writing at the same time. Imagine how crazy that would be. 600 tourism by the way. 600. And I've also now got the chance to excavate artifacts. Now again you can't steal these, I don't believe, but I just wanted to clear this tower. I don't know, can you steal an artifact? Oh that's a good question. That is a good question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure and I don't want to cheat. I don't want to cheat, so we're going to sell it. I'm going to sell it to someone for one gold. Ugh. But I ain't get it. I was just trying to clear that tile. That was the more important thing for me there because I wanted a spaceport. Why is it not giving me the option to put it there? Oh, I don't know what's going on. I, I swear it wasn't giving me the option earlier. Ugh. Okay, well, something's weird in this city and that's fine. Social media, the time is nigh. Let's have a quick look. 1,000 culture extra, you say? 1,000 extra? Well, if you insist, I'll put that instead of containment. I don't need that right now. And gunboat diplomacy. My trade routes are getting me a lot more than the influencer. I'm going to put Raj back in for now. Perfect. Look at that. 1,887 culture. Ho 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 ho, beeline towards environmentalism. I'm sorry, the barbs want to give me a U-boat. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. A U-boat. Why have they got a U-boat? Why have the barbarians got a German submarine? I don't know. Oh, by the way, I'm now culturally dominant over Australia. First one falls. So far, everything is going to plan. <laughs> very good, very good. Observations on experimental philosophy stolen again. Ooh, and a portrait, look at that, yay! Natural portrait. Environmentalism, 840 tourism now. I'm getting eight extra diplomatic favor from that, but the tourism is beginning to grow fast. Again, don't want my own pieces of music. I just want to steal them. What's, what's so difficult to understand about that? The biplane went up and did not immediately come down. I always like that one. That makes me smile. <laughs> city-state emergency. Oh no! Hattusa's been captured. Why is everybody just capturing all the city-states? It's just so boring. Oh. Uh-oh. Claude was captured. Oh no. Okay, admittedly Claude is like my best spy. So I, I kind of want them back. Can I, can I have them back, please? I can't promise I'm not going to keep spying you, but... You know, I, can I can I have them back, please, please? How much how much is, does Claude cost? Oh, there's quite the bounty on Claude's head. Five hundred gold? No, eight hundred gold. You know what? Actually, Claude's worth that. Claude is worth that. What do you reckon? Shall Claude go immediately back to what he was doing? I think. Uh, yeah, Corinth. I'm just gonna go straight back to Corinth. Why not? At this point, why not? Come on, Claude. Do it. I just treat myself to a rock band, you know. Distributed sovereignty. Excellent. We have all the fun things now. I'm going to put International Space Agency in. We've got Raj. We've got colonial taxes. We've got Machiavellianism. We've got a lot of cool stuff, actually. I'm going to put cryptography in. And I'm going to put in nuclear espionage. If I steal a tech boost, I get two. That's really good. Democratic legacy as well. Awesome. Oh, amazing cards here. Some really, really cool ones. Lovely stuff. This means I get two extra culture and two immunities in all of my cities from this government. It's a strong, strong government. Stole the red cliff. I like the idea that it's actually a, a cliff that I've just stolen rather than a painting. I like that a lot. Rockefeller, more oil, more trade routes. Oh, just uh, gold for trade routes, I should say. This is all the stuff I love. Oh no. Oh, one spy was killed though. That's no fun. We don't like that. Go, go, audio lizard. I bought these people for the boost. Uh, opening act though. Hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta take it. That's not bad. There we go. Claude's already here. Steal David. Claude doesn't like David. It's a name that just, oh, 
rubs clawed the wrong way. So I've unlocked wind farms, now I want to unlock solar farms because I'm trying to bring my carbon down a little bit. It's kind of working but I don't want to take the lead, I'm losing so much from carbon emissions and I've got so much spare oil it's it's mad at the moment but I think I've, I've just done the main one. Calais is now working on oil, lovely, that's what you want to see. Up to 91 tourists now, it's all looking good, we're just about to go over 900 culture or tourism per turn I believe. The head of John the Baptist and lasers and nuclear vision, oh there we go, there's the double uh, boost that I was talking about, so that is nuclear espionage in action, it's a really good card that one, I very rarely use it but I very much should use it more than I do. Go go audio lizard and rising stars, hey hey Hey, they're not promoting, they're refusing to promote, but I'm going from wonder to wonder and they're doing something. So, you know, that's cool. Ah, future civic. The point where you know the game has gone too far. I do like it when you're sort of leaked into the game and just everything is doing huge, huge stuff. Just, oh, 50 diplomatic favor and one civic every turn. Oh, it's beautiful. Late game tech trees. It's always fun, isn't it? Very, oh, I just, I like, I just like the end game. The end game is so chill. I know people like early game, I know tradition it's people's favourite, where are you going to settle, where are your cities going to go, what are you going to do? I'll always be a late game convert. Go go gadget, audio lizard, oh they promoted legends of rock, huzzah, there you go you see, sense and sensibility, what a steal, nice. Oh I've got a second rock band, I wonder what I should make them in terms of the promotion that I could give them. Uh, music festival, reggae rock, roadies, mm, I think I'll go roadies but like I mean honestly they could be anything. I might even treat myself in this city to a nuclear power plant that I've just unlocked. Oh, 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 we like nuclear energy. In fact I just built an industrial zone in this city and I can just immediately go for a canal just to make it even better and give myself there a score. Pray it into existence I say. What could go wrong? Oh, in fact I could put an aqueduct to the other side of it as well. Oh I mean honestly the city's amazing now. 50% chance that it's the final gig. No, no, they did okay. They did okay. Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it could be. Another gig and oh, creative differences. Boo. Oh well, audio lizard. Go, go, audio lizard. Opening act again. It's not bad. How's my culture doing? 113 out of 429. Very nice. Still nanotechnology and oh, I didn't get two beasts. Never mind. Let's go for foot. Oh no, Marcel. Marcel was captured. Villainy, I say. Villainy has happened this day. I'm gonna steal Geneva back quickly. Audio lizard. Rising stars. 6,500 tourism now. I'll be back. <laughs> I always like that one. Oh, so many future civics we are doing amazingly. Although 10 turns now, 10 turns and I may not actually get a golden age this time. That's a bit frustrating. 256. We need 28 era score in 10 turns. I feel like we should be able to do that but it's uh, probably a little bit difficult. Well there's two era score from the fact that we just stole the city state. I I'm doing that without even really realizing it and that airport means that I have three era score as well. It's gonna put a spaceport down quickly. Buy in Korolev. Yeah, uh, I, you know what, I, I feel like era score may be a little easier to get than we were worried. <laughs> we stole Eugene and oh we st didn't steal anything there but we monitored a city, Nobel Peace Prize, lovely. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. Musician, musician, no, die. Musician, no, die. Artist, die. I refuse. I refuse to have any of these people here. Salam. Oh my word, Eureka for all information air attack. That is only two. Blimey, I thought we would need more than that, but we did not. Fair play. Go, go, audio lizard. Oh, look at that, 6,000 tourism and they've generated a promotion. Very good. Still generating great work heists though. This is all lovely. There's a splendid commercial hub as well. I mean, honestly, at, at the moment, this is, this is quite easy to, to just buy my way out of his era score problem. More voting, Nobel Prize in Literature. I mean I'm not really generating many points but I guess I'm generating some. We already have seen that great works of writing gets voted upwards, that's what happened last time and I'd love it if we could send uh, city-state trades to, I'm gonna say cultural city-states because honestly I think I've got more of that but actually no scientific, oh no cultural's fine, why not? 
I just put 17 votes on one and 18 votes on the other, you know? That, that seems, that seems legit, that seems fair. Don't mind me also if I just launch a satellite in one turn with Korolev. I've got two charges in, so I might as well just race it up into the sky. Delightful. Bit of renewable energy as well. Any any more error score anybody wants? I, I've got a lot of it. I've, I can share. And, uh, you know, I've got 927 tourism and it's all going nicely. You see, I've got the tourism victory happening. But the funny thing is, the thing about playing a game of spies, right? Is it's all about espionage. The whole thing is all about being secret and subtle. And what does the Black Queen say as an actual saying if you meet her as an AI? Oh, games are being played that you don't really see. Things are happening without your knowledge. It's an interesting saying, isn't it? Because if I spend an entire game with spies and that's all that seems to happen, then the question is, did you, dear audience, keep your eye on the ball? Because I haven't been going for a cultural victory this entire time. What's that? Seastead? One diplomacy point? 20 out of 20? Oh, did I build the Statue of Liberty and just forget to show you? Oh, I mean the clues were there the whole game. <laughs> I even made a big deal of showing everybody how I was beginning to deep freeze the world. Not long off that. Look how many carbon recapture projects I've got going. Just casually generating about 200 favor per turn and reducing everybody else's. Making a big deal of showing you how I am building industrial zones and then immediately buying in all of the bits and pieces so that they're all happy. So weird things that I've been doing. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, it's really not that subtle, okay? I'm sure most people spotted it, but it just goes to show, especially on multiplayer. If somebody keeps talking about the fact they're going for a culture victory, they may not always be necessarily doing that. And I find that relatively satisfying as well, because not only did we start on the tiniest lump of France, but I was actually, in fact, winning a genuine tourism victory. If I actually bothered to put the cards in again, I made a big deal of showing you how I was going to tier four governments, where on a cultural victory, you normally would stay tier two. And I made a big deal of the fact that I wasn't picking up heritage tourism and satellite broadcasts and global communities and all of the cards that boost tourism. I very deliberately showed you that I wasn't picking them. So were you somebody that commented and said, Ursa, you're going for a culture victory and you're not doing it properly. <laughs> I was never going for a culture victory. Spies, ladies and gentlemen, spies are the best. Marcus Aurelius. Actually, to be fair, this game generally was amazing. We captured a single city that was the liberated city-state, but otherwise we stayed peaceful this game and I kind of enjoyed that. Look at my culture output though. This version of France was a delight to play. That was the online community. Oh no, which one was that? That was the, the card that gives you culture for city-states. It's always really, really good fun. That card, by the way, is why Isles of Minerva is considered to be the strongest, if not one of the two strongest, secret societies in the game. Look at the science doing exactly the same thing. I had the score lead by the end, which was wonderful. I was building loads of wonders just because I was getting a little bit bored. Total religions founded. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. I didn't do one of those. It's all fine. My faith game was actually okay. I was basically just using my faith to get renaissance wars the entire time. My gold game was on point though. I had so much gold and I just went bloop and started spending it once I'd unlocked the carbon recapture projects just because I was pushing through all of my industrial zones. Look at that sabotage production is happening. Genuinely though, apart from these five relics which I bought because you can't steal them, everything else was stolen. The entire ensemble of art I have in this game was all entirely stolen. And I've only got nine spies. I actually, again, made a big deal to show you the fact that I stopped building a spy in one of my cities to switch over to carbon recapture. Again, did you spot it? Things never quite are what they seem. Never quite. But yeah, generally, this, this version of France, a delight to play. And if I was actually generating decent artist, musician and merchant points and writers, 50% extra, if I was actually putting them in properly and generating my own and buying them from the AI, I would have had crazy tourism this game. Absolutely crazy tourism. It would have been very fun. And it would not have taken much for me to win a tourism victory, honestly. Alfonso, my neighbor, was the culture leader. And if, if I was really, really worried about it, I could just go, look at all these great works. I could just go, um, hang on, let's just go 7,400 and go a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. And you just basically buy them all. He's not selling them to me at the moment because 
it has me down as winning, um, although I have just already won. So if I were to roll forward next turn, he'd let me have it. Well, the Stardew is being built. Oh, I, again, I actually stopped building that because I started doing carbon recapture. Again, I was just showing you all these things. I put it down and then move on as if nothing was happening. What fun game though. I would advise, massively I would advise, if ever you're playing multiplayer and you feel like being a bit sneaky, culture into diplomacy and vice versa is a very good double-edged sword. You can also throw religion in as well if you want to go for a bit of a peaceful game. It tends to work quite well, but I need to run to my next game. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you again, channel supporters, for all of your support with the channel and for coming up with this idea. Remember I have coffee. Remember I have so many other games if you ever want to check out the homepage of my YouTube channel. I keep a playlist with all of the games I've ever played. There's over 250 of them now. There's a huge amount of Civ 6 that I've played. And if you ever want to use any of the mods or play any, any of the maps, they're all on Discord. So come and get them. But until next time, see you all later. Goodbye! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Dayboy91, Sean Critties, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Emir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support as well as everybody that leaves comments and interacts with the channel generally. Thank you so much. See you all next time.